so hello guys today in this video we're going to learn about how to access your university or your colleges computers from your home remotely basically how to remote access your university's computer so i'm going to do it for western sydney university i'm not quite sure if they will allow this or not but yeah if you are a western sydney university student and you have a scam account and password you can access the computer from your home the computers at the college from your home so why do you need that uh, you might need that if you do not have a powerful computer which is the case for me so the first thing you want to do is go to a browser like any browser uh, for now i'll just click google chrome and then what you want to do is you want to download vmware horizon client so here you can see vmware horizon clients just click there And it will ask if you have uh, what kind of system basically so in my case I have a Windows so I'll just basically click here or maybe I'll just go to the downloads and by clicking this button it will download automatically so I'll just click this one I've got it out here it says two minutes left but I'll just cancel it for now because I've already got it so the next step is go to uh, the document or the methods that is provided by your university. So in my case, I'll just type something randomly to find it uh, quite quickly. So access Western Sydney Uni Computer Labs remotely. So if the keywords are right basically then you will be redirected to something so in our case that we are going to do now is this one so i'm basically an engineering student and here we can see that the manual is provided for windows 10 or mac users i'll just click windows 10 and it basically describes what the horizon view remote access system is i won't go into the details what i need is just this light server address and since my horizon client is already downloaded and upon installing you will see something like this so in here you've got an add server section you might just want to click here and just go and control c to copy let's open this vmware and i want to point one mistake out here they have put it as h8 but you have to put h v8 and then you can basically connect so you have to enter your username and your password so if you are a first sem or a second sem student or a student from any semester you can basically go to outlook.com so if you go to your outlook account and search for the term stars then you will be given an account registration kind of thing and this email mostly has your ID and password by clicking this link over here I won't do it because it will show my password so I'll close it for now you get your account ID and password from there and if you enter your username now you've just logged in so for me uh, as you can see like we can access different software and the best thing is you don't have to install any of this in your computer for our mechanical engineers there are apps like solidworks robotics apps ansys 
or if you are a programmer you've got Jupyter that's basically Python or SQL and even for just project management you've got my MS project or just even for writing reports you've got Word and if you want to develop some games you've got Unity as well MATLAB for coding Blender Arduino so basically you can access any of the app and also you can just log in to the computer system by clicking it in here and take you basically to the inside it looks like this so from now you can access any software here for that you will be you might be asked with your username and your password again which you have to insert again so that was it guys subscribe to the channel if you feel like this video was informative